Hello, my lovely Pisces. How are you, loves? I hope everybody is well. Pisces, welcome to your weekly energies, weekly predictions for the first week of February 2021. Sun, Moon, Rising Science and Venus Science. If resonates with you, loves, I'm so happy to hear that. If does not, take your Sun, Moon, Rising or your Venus. Let's see, loves, what's for you in the house for this week. How the predictions are manifesting towards you. And what are those blessings we need to look at at this time? We have young energy, masculine energy. For some of you, you need to take action towards something. Or somebody here is taking action towards you. Indeed, here, the young energy very much speaks about go forward, do this. You know what you need to do. And underneath, we have orphaned. It's kind of like whatever is here, it's kind of somebody here might feel like, well, I am in a some sort of situation and nobody is with me. It's not true. You always, always have guides, angels, ancestors, and souls which got away from this world. And whatever is here, it's on you. You need to take action. It's like, instead of staying in this like black energy or nothing works and not this and that is like well you know i need to do what i need to do what's best for me and yes pisceans this week there's a lot of work for you to do and whatever you feel you know whatever happened whatever state of mood or mind you have let it go because you know whatever you are right now it's not your final destination and the spirit says this actually is a good opportunity for you to start something better okay sometimes you know the the things you you feel like left or not working actually we need to trust in the divine into the universe because something here might not be for you when you're still holding on. And that is very much the comfort zone. Emperor, again, masculine energy, father figure here. Aries energy. For some of you, you dealing here with the emperor, with a father figure. For some of you, you are that one. Emperor is that kind of like person. I am determined. I need to do that. And this is for my own happiness. Yes, loves. Queen of Pentacles. And the Hierophant, Taurus energy here. It's for your own stability here. It's like don't let the things just go like that. You got to take action. Taking action and allowing it. It's the perfect combination right now for you, Pisces. You might deal here with an Aries. You might have Aries. Or I see Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But whatever is here is for your own balance. For your own stability. Okay? Ten of Pentacles might be our family situation. Page of Cups, Seven of Swords, Five of Wands, Ace of Swords. Somebody here needs to speak up the truth. Devil, Knight of Cups, Ten of Swords. Queen of Swords. I see, indeed here there is a family conflict or there is something here which is impacting 
the balance and the peace into the family. It's kind of somebody here gives a lot and the other one benefits here. It's also somebody here, whatever they do, does, it's in their favor. And indeed here, there's something here in regards to your peace. Ace of Swords very much speaks about the truth will shall come out. With who you are dealing, whatever situation is. Yes, you might feel this way. And you might not feel like, well, uh-uh. But I feel here there is there is this situation, something here depends on you. Or the peace or the truth, something like that. Let's see. Seven of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Judgment, King of Wands. Five of Wands, Nine of Cups, King of Pentacles, Hermit, and Five of Swords, Devil, Seven of Pentacles, Strength, Two of Cups, and Eight of Cups. And Ten of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Lovers. Fool. And Three of Cups. What I'm feeling here for you, Pisces, you've done so much effort here, whatever it is, but you know there's something else here. And Spirit says, pick it up. There's a family conflict here. Could be in regards to a third party. Could be in regards to some lies. Conflict, gossip. I feel here the truth will come out here. And whatever you... Whatever you thought is with the high priestess, like you deeply knew what is going on and how it will be, but you you try to either avoid, either to, to not do anything about it. I feel here now will be a talk and a move. There's a karmic tie between you, Pisces, and somebody here. And I feel here, somebody here is with their life partner. And you suspect that they done something here behind your back. But now it's kind of like, speak the truth now or never. like you you give yourself time and you you always try to do what is best but somebody here it's kind of took the kindness for weakness for some of you you are committed here with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn you might have Libra in the chart But the other thing here, what I'm seeing here, if you are not quite sure if this person is doing things behind your back, I feel here you are with the judgment and king of wands, you find it out. And 
all your doubts are quite clear here. It's like I waited and I always try to give them the best, but I am not going to stay here anymore. And with this Queen of Swords, it's like I will say the truth no matter what. I feel here this person will try to get back, will try to try, will try to make it right. But I feel here you you might choose something else to move on. It's like between this person and a new beginning, you choose a new beginning. So indeed here, whatever, as I always said, the truth is for the long run. The lies have short tails. And whatever they tried here, too bad, because it didn't really work. So I feel here there is a Pisces here who, yes, the disappoint is quite huge. And I feel here you, you might have been thought of this a lot. Should I stay? Should I leave? For some of you, you might get a message here from somebody here. Oh, you know, you, your person done this, this, this. And you're just like, well, I sense something, but I didn't see clearly. So now I do with this Ace of Swords. Whatever truth is coming, it's coming out quick. Very fast. And I see you on a new path. Even my, might be now quite hard. But I feel here there is a liberation here. Let's see here. One advice. Five of Cups. Page of Swords. Queen of Wands. Eight of Wands. King of Swords. And Seven of Cups. There's other options here. And it's kind of like when you look back here... It's quite a thing. And as you see here, we do have Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, backwards. I'll show you here. Backwards. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. The only one I'm missing is King of Cups and Queen of Cups. With that very much speaks that love quite vanished here. Either, and I don't feel it's on your side. I feel here it's one day aside. Somebody here didn't appreciate the love, the affection offered. And I feel here will be a talk and will be a move here because somebody here had a clear vision now what they need to do. And I feel here that's you, Pisces. Embracing a new path. Moving towards a new path. Even right now it's kind of like, I don't know where I will start from. Love and light, Pisces, and I hope this speaks to you, and see you next time. Namaste.